hey you guys and welcome back to my channel in this video we'll be doing another wig install i'm always excited to do my wigs especially when it's hd looks <laughs> like i get so excited every time i'm supposed to try a new lace or a new wig as if i've never tried it before you know but this video is sponsored by Riku hair and i'm just showing you guys what they sent me inside the package so they sent me some clips some stocking some stocking caps they sent me a bonnet to put um over my hair when i'm going to my bed this is their information card with their social media handles how to care for the hair how to wash it all of that they sent me this comb i think they sent me some lashes baby hair combs and the bag to put the wig in when it's done like the pink really cool hair bag like i've worked with them before so you guys know what company this is so let's just jump into the wig right away so they sent me a 180 percent density wig straight in 24 inches so 24 inches 13 by 4 180 density straight wig and as you can see it was pretty much thick all the way to the bottom when you get like a 24 inch 22 26 it's not really thin at the end it's when you get to like 28 and 30 inches if it's not really full um then the ends will be thick if it's not like a 200 percent density but you, when it's like 24 inches you'll be fine Okay guys, so one thing I should have did that I didn't do in this video was actually braid my hair down. I didn't do it and remember I have the tape pins in so it made my hair at the back like extra and then it felt as if the wig couldn't fit my head. So I was constantly pulling and it was just like I had to finesse it pretty much. Um... But I knew that was because I didn't braid my hair down properly um, because I've worked with Riku hair before and I know their wigs can actually fit my head. So I just know the only thing different was that I had the tapings in and I just like did it, did one big braid with my hair and put it up. So the back was kind of like, yeah. So if you're going to put on your wig, please to make sure either you just take your tapings out or try to braid it in smaller sections so it's not so big at the back anyways so this is the wig so it's looking as you can see it's hd lace or transparent hd lace um skin pretty much it was just giving skin so today i won't be just installing my wig i'll be doing a style with it um and i'm also doing my tiktok videos so if you see me like going back and forth that's why uh yeah so i'm gonna let you guys just watch and if i have anything to say then i'll come back And for those asking, um, it's two layers of glue that I do when I have like, you know, multiple wigs to put on. If I'm going to keep it on for more than a week, I will do up to four layers. But because I know I'm not going to keep it on, I'll do like one, one and a half to two layers. Also, remember, do not put the glue on your stocking cap. Put it on your skin. So put it a little above your stocking cap and not on the stocking cap itself like you have to put it on your skin for it to melt with your skin and not the stocking cap if you get what i'm saying also always ensure when you are applying your when you're putting down the lace on the glue put it over and not directly on it just in case you kind of um, put excessive amount of glue, then it's not showing 
in front of the lace and it looks tacky and all that like please to pl place it in front of the glue it's better to go in and add more glue than to try to remove the glue like no also because um this hairline or because my bun was so big in the back like i said it kept pulling and it was it was kind of hard to to um lay on the first try i had to go in and put more glue so i can actually grip the lace just because the back of my head was not done properly but yeah guys the quality for this hair was honestly a1 like it was so soft as you can see like it was just flowing it like literally the whole time i was doing this install i kept running my hands through the hair because it's so soft um and it was like literally just flowing through my hand like when i was combing it oh i was like oh my goodness this hair is actually so soft like a1 and I'm not just saying that because, you know, it's sponsored or whatever, but it's actually like good quality. I've done wigs um, for sponsored video, like sponsored videos and stuff. And some of the hairs are not as like soft as this, like no lie, soft, like no word of a lie. The only thing that I had a problem with was because it wasn't stretching over my head, but I know it was because of my bun. But apart from that, a one.
Okay guys, so I love this hairstyle straight, but it was at the end, I was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to put some small one curls um, at the end of it. I wanted to start it a little bit higher, like the curling. I wanted to start curling a little bit higher, but it's whatever. Like, I think it's still cute with the small one curls. I'm glad I didn't just go in and did like body wave type of curls. I'm happy I actually did the small one curls. So yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing right now. And then the hairstyle is pretty much done. And it's very cute. So this is pretty much the final look. I would like to thank Rico here for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love this hair and this hairstyle came off cute. Let me know what you loved best about this hairstyle or what you think I should have changed or what I could have left out, what you didn't really like. Let me know down in the comment section or if you have any questions on how I did any specific part then definitely shoot me a dm on instagram or just leave it in the comment section and i'll definitely try to answer you guys but yeah thank you guys for watching and i will definitely see you guys in my next one